hi welcome to the mathematics in my channel in this video we are going to solve this uh, interesting integral integral from 0 to pi over 2 1 over i root of tan of x dx okay how to begin well uh, first we can express tan of x by using sine and cosine so we can write our integral is equal to 0 to pi over 2 1 over uh, here we know tan of x is equal to sine of x over cosine of x raised to the uh, 1 over i power dx. Now we can write uh, this is also equal to integral form 0 to pi over 2. Now here sine of x raised to the 1 over i. So we can write sine raised to the minus 1 over i of x times uh, here cosine of x we know cosine raised to the 1 over i of x dx okay now uh, we know about uh, beta function beta of m n is equal to 2 times integral from 0 to pi over 2 uh, sine raised to the 2m minus 1 of x times cosine raised to the 2n minus 1 of x dx so we can represent our integral uh, by using uh, this formula uh, so we can convert to beta function so here we have one half beta of uh, now uh, we should find the m and n uh, so we know uh, 2m minus 1 here power 2m minus 1 is equal to minus 1 over i minus 1 over i now we can isolate the m so m is equal to here minus 1 we know plus 1 so 1 over 2 uh, minus 1 over uh, i uh, we know uh, we can multiply by i so i square minus 1 so here plus i and here 2 so i over 2 also we can find the n so we know 2n minus 1 is equal to 1 over i so uh, same as here n is equal to one half minus i over two so we know here beta of one half plus i over two comma one half minus i over two now we know the relation between gamma function and beta function beta of m n is equal to gamma of m times gamma of n over gamma of m plus in so we can write uh, here one half uh, gamma of gamma of one half plus i over two gamma of one half minus i over two over gamma of one half plus i over two plus one half minus i over two now we know this i over two get cancelled and 1 half plus 1 half we know 1 and also gamma of 1 we know 1 and uh, then we here we have in the denominator 1 uh, so we have here 1 over 2 uh, gamma of 1 half plus 1 half plus i over 2 uh, then uh, here uh, gamma of 1 half minus i over 2 so I am going to rearrange uh, like gamma of 1 minus 1 half plus i over 2 now we know 1 minus 1 half 1 half uh, minus i over 2 so this is okay okay then uh, here we have gamma of uh, if we take this is uh, x gamma of x times gamma of 1 minus x so we know about Euler's reflection formula gamma of x gamma of 1 minus x is equal to pi over sine of pi x so we can write uh, now our integral is equal to uh, here uh, 1 half now uh, gamma of x gamma of 1 minus x we know pi over sine of sine of pi x so sine of pi uh, x we know 1 half plus i over 2 1 half plus i over 2 okay then uh, here 
phi over 2 times now sine of phi over 2 plus phi i over 2 uh, we know uh, cosine of phi i over 2 so 1 over cosine of pi i over 2 okay now uh, how to simplify uh, cosine of pi i over 2 well uh, let's take the complex definition of cosine of x we know cosine of x is equal to uh, e to the i times x plus e to the minus i times x over 2 now uh, instead of x uh, instead of this angle uh, if we take cosine of i pi over 2 now we know here we have e to the here i now x we know i pi over 2 plus e to the here minus i times i pi over 2 over 2 now we can uh, simplify we know here minus i times i i square minus i square i square we know minus 1 so plus uh, so we can write uh, here e to the uh, pi over 2 plus here we know i square minus so e to the minus pi over 2 over 2 okay now i am going to multiply by uh, e to the pi over 2 e to the pi over 2 both numerator and denominator so here we know e to the pi over 2 plus pi over 2 e to the pi plus 1 over 2 times e to the pi over 2 so we can write uh, here pi over 2 times now 1 over cosine so 2 times 2 times e to the pi over 2 over e to the pi plus 1 now we know these two get cancelled so we have the answer uh, pi times e to the pi over 2 over e to the pi plus 1 okay this is the answer if you like this type of videos please subscribe this channel thank you for watching